How's it going folks? Jeff Benjamin here, your Cow Digit Brand Ambassador. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how host power delivery from Thunderbolt 4 Docs works. More specifically, we're gonna show how the Cow Digit Thunderbolt stations will always provide consistent power delivery to your computer at all times. Now, many other Thunderbolt 4 docks state that they will charge it up to 96 watts, right? However, their host computer charge can actually decrease depending on how many power hungry devices are connected. Some of these other docks call this dynamic or smart charging. The TS4 and the TS3 Plus on the other hand will always provide their stated host power delivery at all times. To show this, we're gonna actually connect a bunch of power hungry devices, including several iPads to both the TS4 and to another Thunderbolt 4 dock. So here is the CalDigit TS4. We're gonna go ahead and connect this to our host computer. That is the MacBook Pro. And now you can see it's charging the 14 inch MacBook Pro at 98 watts. So full speed according to the specs of the TS4. Now, here's the question. What happens when we plug in a bunch of power hungry devices? We're talking four different iPads and all of them are pretty much dead. So here's what the system report looks like now. Again, still 98 watts, even with all these power hungry devices connected at once. Now, how do you other competing docks fare? Well, let's go ahead and try out one here. So the OWC Thunderbolt dock provides 96 watts of power to the host computer, which is great. But what happens when I connect a bunch of power hungry devices to this dock? Well, you go from 96 to just 68 watts of power delivered to the host computer. So that's gonna mean a slower charge for your MacBook Pro when these power hungry devices are connected. Now let's try the power expand dock from Anchor. This Thunderbolt 4 dock provides 90 watts of power to the host computer, but what happens when we connect a bunch of power hungry devices? Well, that dynamic charging kicks in and it drops that wattage down to just 71. Now you may rightfully be wondering, how can the TS4 and the TS3 Plus provide consistent host power delivery? Well, that's because CalDigit includes power supplies that are more than capable of providing enough wattage to each port regardless of how many power hungry devices are connected. The TS4, for example, includes a 230 watt power supply, which means that even if you connected a bunch of power hungry devices to all the TS4's ports, the power will never drop. And that's it. CalDigit's TS4 and the TS3 Plus will always supply their specified host power delivery wattage thanks to their included power supplies. I hope you were able to find this very informative as you research your next Thunderbolt 4 dock purchase. Be sure to subscribe to CalDigit's YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if you want more videos from me personally, you can find me over at 9to5Mac. Again, this is Jeff Benjamin, and I'll catch you in the next video.